Okay, this is the uh, setup of second part of the first experiment. Uh, this is the force sensor. This can uh, uh, measure the force uh, by this hook, and it's an electronic sensor. And this will be again connected to LabQuest. Um, let's plug the first channel from the side. And as soon as we plug in, uh, on the LabQuest we see the force measurement. But since there is nothing on, on the force sensor, we first put this zero. Okay. So uh, it can measure the force in units of Newton and after the decimal point we have uh, three digits as the sensitivity and what we do in this experiment we will take measurements of force and measurements of mass for five measurements and we will make a graph out of this equation f is equal to m times a and the graph uh, is the force measurements versus the mass measurement and from this graph once uh, you calculate the slope and the slope will give you g so let's take our first data for measurements of masses we use this electronic scale and the electronic scale has 0 0.01 grams of error that we should record this in the measurements of mass and we have a mass holder and we have five different masses and let's do the first measurement first we do we plug this mass the first one into the holder and we measure first the mass uh, this is shining. Okay, let's put this here. So what we measure, let's do it again. It's zero, and we put. It shows fifteen point nineteen, and this is in grams. Of course, we should convert it to kilograms. Kilograms. Okay. So to make the force measurement next we hang this onto the hook of our force sensor and make sure that this is not swinging so that we can have a nice measurement of force so as you see the force value is changing on LabQuest and that means we should take some measurements of force and take an average but for this what we do is we just push the side top button and the LabQuest is continuously measuring the force for let's say 5 to 10 seconds and uh, okay this is the measurement of force for 10 seconds and to take an average we choose analyze and we choose statistics and on the right what you see is minimum and maximum measurements of forces but we take the mean value 0. Uh, 144 newtons and as the m error we have this standard deviation also we will record this value as the error value so let's record 0 0.144 plus minus 
the standard deviation as the error 0 0.006, the first three digits 0 0.006 in newtons. So this is our first data point in the graph. This will be our first data point in the graph, force versus mass. And the next is what we do again. We load this hanger one more mass and we again measure its mass on the scale and it's take to zero, yeah. Just put it and the mass is thirty five point twenty nine grams. Of course we have to convert this to kilograms with the error value of zero point zero one grams and we will record this. Of course before that we will also record the force measurement and the force measurement as I said will be taken by pushing the top right button and it records the force values for 10 seconds and take the average by choosing on the analyze menu the statistics and the force so we will take again the mean value 0 0.0, 0 0.336 newtons and as the uh, error value 0 0.005 we will record this in our table and at the end we will plot these graph of data points and we will calculate the slope.